our coastal communities are already feeling the impacts from Delta, with Dauphin Island experiencing rough surf and some minor flooding. Meteorologist Colleen Peterson reports from flooded roadways on the island. Walking along Danville Boulevard on the west end of Dauphin Island, seawater submerging portions of the roadway and already reaching homes out ahead of Hurricane Delta. High tide was at 2.04 a.m. this morning. Sunlight revealed the seawater engulfing portions of the West End. It's nothing out of the ordinary for local residents. Well, anytime we get a storm in the Gulf, and particularly in close proximity like this, we anticipate having saltwater flooding on parts of the West End. This time around, it's different. We just had Sally come through, and the fact that we haven't gotten the sand put back on the beach yet, the island in that area is even more vulnerable, and that's why we're seeing impacts already. The eroded sand piles are on the side of the road when they should be out in front of the homes and streets to act as barriers. There are no current evacuation orders in place on Dauphin Island. The storm surge watch was downgraded to a coastal flood advisory for Mobile and Baldwin counties. Surge around one to three feet are possible with rough surf. The United States Coast Guard urges residents to secure small vessels. People own recreational boats or small boats to take them out of the water or trailer them um, and bring them to a safe place that they can store them, double up mooring lines um, and remove any small items on board. This includes boats, kayaks and other loose items that could become adrift in the rough surf. High risk for rip currents and high surf advisories remain in effect from coastal Baldwin to Okaloosa County. Waves could range from 6 to 10 feet early this weekend. Reporting in Dauphin Island, I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.